It's that time of year again. Strawberries, cream, maybe rain, maybe sun. Wimbledon starts, of course, on Monday. The tournament often inspires people to pick up a racket. For a fortnight at least, but what about after that? Well, this week the Lawn Tennis Association was warned that it could miss out on millions of pounds of funding unless more people are encouraged to play the game regularly. Tim Uffitt's in East London this morning to find out what's been done to get teenagers more involved in the game. Morning, Tim. Yes, good morning to you from Bow in East London, St Paul's Way School. We've got the kids out. There you go, 6.20 in the morning, doing a bit of tennis, sort of sites that uh, tennis uh, people who run tennis in this country would love to see more often because getting people playing the game has proved something of a challenge over the years and as you say this week sport england which distributes taxpayers money gave the lta a bit of a warning so that unless it can amongst other things prove that it's doing enough to boost participation it could miss out on around 10 million pounds of funding now the lawn tennis association says it is doing what it's can what it can to boost numbers. It's working with a number of partners, Greenhouse Charity being one of them. It puts coaches into schools, which is what's going on here this morning. Another a sports charity is called um, Street Games. Now, they've developed a new concept, which you might be seeing in a park near you. It's called the Pop-Up Tennis Club. Canning Town in East London is 15 miles from Wimbledon, but as far as engagement with tennis goes, it's felt more like a million miles. No one's really interested in it because um, you see everyone knows about football, everyone knows about basketball. Young people think you have to join a club. I've never really tried tennis because there's no like people playing tennis near my house. Okay, you're my favourite player, my new favourite player, OK? In the local park, a pop-up tennis club has, well, popped up, run by the sports charity Street Games. The idea of a pop-up club is that you're taking an activity into a community where you don't necessarily need specialist um, facilities or, or equipment. You take a pop-up net, some rackets and balls, and you get young people playing some, some tennis. Traditionally, tennis has been seen as an elitist sport, hasn't it, where you have to join an expensive club. How has that changed? I think it is an image and a perception around tennis. Um, I think um, young people feel like a, a tennis isn't really a sport that is for them, and I think that is exactly what the pop-up tennis club programme is about. There are plenty of theories as to why more people don't take up tennis. The weather, poor quality public courts, the elitist image. Whatever the actual reasons, getting people to take up the sport has proved challenging for many years. Around 424,000 people aged 16 and over now play tennis once a week, according to Sport England. The number has risen slightly compared to the previous year but it's down by almost 13% since 2008, when 487,000 were playing weekly. And Sport England research also shows that people from better off backgrounds are nearly twice as likely to play the game. Do you think it's still seen as elitist by some? I think that the fact that um, obviously Wimbledon is a, you know, is a massively powerful thing for tennis and it's, it gives us more reach and coverage than, than we would have. However, I think it also creates a certain impression of the sport. Um, but I think the reality, like you can see today, is the fact that you know, it is a sport that anyone can play. When Sport England said that they're going to potentially cut your funding you know, unless your participation levels go up, is that a fair thing for them to say, do you think? The signs are promising that we will be able to secure that funding. They know that we're doing everything that we can. If you're doing everything you can, why hasn't it happened? We have turned a corner. The most recent results show an increase in the amount of people that are playing tennis. We know we've got some way to catch up to previous years and we're working hard to do that. Pop-up tennis clubs will be popping up across the UK, championing a sport that doesn't just improve fitness, but that'll soon dominate the national conversation. Who do we want to win Wimbledon this year? Murray! 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 Who said Nadal? And there are going to be around 42 of those pop-up clubs popping up all over the UK. That one's run, they're run by a charity called Street Games. What's going on here this morning is run by a charity called Greenhouse. And Christine, you're from Greenhouse Charity. How does it work? How hard is it to get kids involved and enthusiastic about tennis, do you think? Um, at the beginning, um, they've never played before. Um, so they were a little bit reluctant and a little bit unconfident about coming on court. But now, a year on, I've got, you know, about 80 pupils on the program and I you know they're banging on my door wanting to play every day and so it's really good historically is it a bit of a tough sell for some kids do you think from this area yes definitely um, it's something that they'd not even thought about playing and um, the opportunities in the area um, weren't great but now obviously we've got our tennis courts here and the program from greenhouse is running so it's, it's been really good really okay good.
Christy, thanks so much indeed. So, have a quick chat to Sal and Sal. Sorry to drop your game there, sir. What do you think of tennis? Do you enjoy it? Um, yeah, I think tennis is a very active and enjoyable sport, and Greenhouse is really um, good because they organise everything and they let us go on and let they let us go on trips and so. <laughs> You're a bit out of breath, aren't yes, you? Sir. Thanks so much, Steve. Sorry to interview you in the middle of a game tennis. Yeah. Why don't you carry on? I mean, a lot of the kids here, uh, as we heard in, in the report, of um, not that interested in tennis traditionally, but actually now organisations like this, getting people more involved. We were talking to some of the other kids here a little later on. Back to you guys. Don't talk to the players, Tim, when they're in the middle of a match. <laughs> Who won? Yeah. Oh, they seemed very happy, didn't they? 26 minutes past six. Back with Tim and all of those um, tennis stars a little bit later on. Coming